Hallelujah. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ. We begin this Sunday reflection in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To the glory of God, today is the first Sunday in the month of September 2020, and the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, yea, yea. I use this medium to wish you a happy new month, and I declare that this is your September to remember, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our topic today is making peace with your neighbor. Making peace with your neighbor. We are looking at this topic from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 18, from verse 15 to 20. When people live or work together, sometimes they have issues with each other. They disagree among themselves. Even husbands and wives, brothers and sisters in the family also have misunderstanding. When such a situation arises, how do you make peace? What do you do to resolve the differences? In our passage of today, our Master, the Lord Jesus Christ, gives us the steps to take in making peace with our neighbors. The first step is to talk it over one-on-one, -on -one, just between the two of you. The second step, if the first step fails, is to get two or three people who are matured and can be trusted to intervene. It is expected that at this level, peace will be restored. But if that also fails, you leave the matter in the hands of God. One lesson for us in this passage is that making peace among believers is not a matter of boxing each other or fighting or any violent action. No, it is also not necessarily a matter to be taken to a court of law. That may be an option only when all efforts at the three levels mentioned by Christ has failed. I am not against lawyers. To the great glory of God, I have two lawyers under my roof. Hallelujah. Amen. But what are we saying? We are saying that misunderstanding between husband and wife, brothers and sisters, neighbors and friends, should be resolved with dialogue and communication. Do you have a disagreement with your husband or with your wife, friend, brother, sister, father, mother? Call him or her and speak with each other one-on-one. -on -one. It is the starting point. Win over the person with dialogue under God's guidance and wisdom. Child of God, I know it is not easy, but I pray that God will give you the grace to take a bold step to call the person on one-on-one, -on -one, to discuss, to talk it over. And as you speak with that person, the Lord will help the, to, to will make that reconciliation fast in Jesus' name. Amen. You cannot make peace by boxing each other, like I said, or throwing the person's property outside the house, even if you get judgment in the court. It may not bring peace because the other person may still carry some pains. Has your personal efforts to make peace failed? Get the support of matured elders or even the priest to help you. If you follow the steps that our master gives, it is key to getting your prayers answered. That is why at the end of those steps, he said that whatever you bind or lose on earth, will be bound and losing in heaven. Child of God, the Lord is telling us to make efforts to reconcile, no matter how long that quarrel has lasted. In fact, God has given us a mandate today not to give up on one another. Find a place in your heart to forgive. Have you said over your dead body, will you forgive? Now, please forgive because God is talking to you through this message. Amen. I pray that you will receive God's grace to follow the steps to make peace with your neighbor. And that your prayers will receive heaven's answer through Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. What we are talking about today is not an easy task. But to the glory of God, you will receive the grace to reconcile. You will receive the grace to make a bold step, to call on him, to call on her, whoever the person is that you're quarreling, that you're having issues with. The Lord is talking to you today to make peace with your neighbor. 
make peace with that person. That person cannot deny you of your blessings. He cannot deny, deny you of the blessing that the Lord has in stock for you. So, child of God, take a bold step today and make a phone call. Put a phone call right now to that person. Not because you want to, but because the Lord has directed you to do so. Receive that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Happy Sunday and have a fruitful week ahead. You are highly blessed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.